I'm getting up soon in the morning. I believe I dust my broom. I'm a little bit queasy because uh, I haven't had anything to eat for two days now. So this is the second day. So we're outside the ANZ Bank and I am protesting and I'm doing a hunger strike. So we're down here at Surfers Paradise and we're outside the ANZ Bank. So um, I'm doing a protest and I'm doing a hunger strike. So if I lose track of what I'm saying is because I've got very low calories. So I did a protest yesterday in Brisbane at um, ANZ Banks and I did a hunger strike there too. So I've had nothing to eat um, since, well it's nearly two days now. So on Monday night I stopped eating. So, and, and the point of all of that is it's a really serious point that the ANZ Bank has been committing crimes and uh, all the big four banks were committing crimes and that came up at the Royal Commission. Unfortunately, the Royal Commission was very short. They cut it short and um, uh, all the, the crime wasn't exposed. And the, the impact on victims of that bank crime was not really gone into properly by the uh, uh, Royal Commission. So I think that really we need another Royal Commission at some stage. But if with rising interest rates, people get into trouble with their um, loans because uh, the banks have falsified uh, their income and expenses, or if the banks, this is the latest dirty trick that ANZ Bank has been doing, is that the, and this has been reported in the media and uh, in the Australian Financial Review that ANZ Bank has been in telling people to falsify their income and expenses on uh, their loan application, on their loan application process. So that's disgusting behaviour. The ANZ Bank did it to me. They didn't ask me to um, falsify my documents. I gave them my tax returns and uh, they ignored my tax returns and increased, uh, uh, falsely, fraudulently inflated my income by between 300% and 600% on different loans. So they, they weren't even uh, consistent there. But what I really want to ask people to do is to get a copy of their loan application form and check for fraud. So you, you go and ask the bank for a copy of the loan application form and probably they won't give it to you because they're, they're, they're trying to hide the fraud. But um, what they'll do is uh, do nothing and then you might have to follow up with the ombudsman. So uh, you, you would lodge a complaint with the ombudsman and eventually they will give you the documents. They gave me part of the documents. So. They, they refused to give me some pages. They're still refusing after, you know, after many years of trying to get all of the complete loan application form, they still won't give me certain pages. So, you know, I've been to the Privacy Commissioner, I've also uh, been to the Ombudsman and uh, they won't do their job. So uh, ANZ Bank has said that it's commercial incompetence. These are forms that uh, are 15 year, years old and it's ridiculous that uh, they're still commercial in confidence. What's commercial in confidence is that ANZ banks fraud.